Nigerians deserve something better. Nigerians deserve something good. Nigerians deserve to ride in the best of equipment. Because the E2 you're going to celebrate today, there's none like it compared to other aircraft in that class. This is an aircraft that, God forbid, if all the powers shut down 30,000 feet above sea level, all the powers shut down, Iran deploys automatically and takes over and the plane will land safely. So safety is assured. In 2018, a historic 30 aircraft order was made. And APIS is very proud to be celebrating with employees and the media as they welcome the arrival of the second of those orders to their fleet. And they have named her Nena Onyema. We in APIS are highly elated that we are witnessing this day. Everything is set to welcome Nena to her home country. And you're welcome to the ceremony heralded her arrival. The plane flew six hours from Recife in Brazil, where the aircraft was built and touched down the Namdi Azikiwe International Airport Abuja at exactly 1.45 p.m. local time. What you see at the background is AP's newest aircraft addition taxiing towards the already stationed fire trucks, waiting to salute and shower her with affection. And I am beyond proud to see the beautiful livery of APs on the second E195 E2 in Africa. And I am thrilled to see this beautiful bird finally home where it belongs. What a well-deserved water kernel salute from Fire Department of Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria. It was absolute. After the cutting of the ceremonial cake by the ramp and a ribbon at the foot of the entrance of the plane, the new plane was finally unveiled to some select travel journalists, employees, as well as some top management of the airline that flew in from Lagos to welcome the aircraft. How was the flight? Very good. Very good. A media walkthrough and tour was organized by APIS executives. Just checking everything. Making sure that everything is intact. 
And was that a sign of satisfaction from the CEO? That means Nigerian travelers are about to discover a brand new flying experience on board the state-of-the-art aircraft. And that is the vice president of the airline, Mrs. Alice Ojochide Onyema. Now let's find out more about this Lion Tech aircraft and its groundbreaking cabin design as I have the opportunity to see the new aircraft up close and personal. The new Embraer E195E2, nicknamed the Profit Hunter, is a single eye twin jet powered by a pair of Pratt and Whitney 1900G turbofans. It is the biggest aircraft Embraer has ever built. Registered 5 November Bravo Yankee Golf and named Nena Onyema after their lovely daughter. The aircraft is the second E195E2 delivery for APs and the second E-Jet to any African airline. Not only is this a beautiful aircraft, it is also most sustainable and fully efficient aircraft in its class. Nigerians deserve something better. Nigerians deserve something good. Nigerians decide, uh, deserve to ride in the best of equipment. That is why we went for the Embraer jet. This Embraer jet, there's none like it compared to other aircraft in that class. This is an aircraft that, God forbid, if all the powers shut down 30,000 feet above sea level, all the powers shut down. A ramp deploys automatically and takes over and the plane will land safely. So safety is assured. Check out the mode lighting inside the cabin. This is so beautiful. Imagine flying at night on board this aircraft. I will not be reviewing the business class cabin today, rather I will start with the economy class cabin. Nevertheless, I will just give a general overview of the cabin and then a comprehensive review of the economy class. The business class and the flight deck will be reviewed another day. So welcome on board the E195E2 cabin. Once inside, your first impression will be what a unique seating arrangement. You have 18 inch wide seats, tall ceiling and large windows. This aircraft has a capacity to seat 124 passengers with 2-2 configurations in their all leather upholstery, guaranteeing each passenger a window seat or an eye seat and it is extremely spacious. The business class cabin area is quite an attention catcher. This is called the staggered seat. The seats are staggered. Like you don't have to talk to the next person sitting beside you. So it's a different kind of seating arrangement. 12 staggered seats in total, offering passengers direct aisle access, like in a long haul aircraft on wide body business class seats. And it's very unusual to find this kind of seating arrangement in original jets. Wow, this is really a revolutionary for a regional jet. I have not seen this kind of seats before, to be honest, on a regional jet. And then you have economy class seats designed to give your legs some extra space. Embraer has decided to maintain the absence of middle seats as one of its most distinctive selling points. Passengers on board this aircraft will enjoy having seat bag storage pockets, power outlets and tray table choices. Unlike the earlier cabin concept of the E2, I noticed this plane does not have any in-flight entertainment screens pre-installed, though an onboard server allows passengers to wirelessly stream a selection of movies to their devices. Maybe when the aircraft is fully certified to fly, they might have it installed. The lavatory space is sufficient enough and similar with competitors' narrowbody aircraft. The cabin layout of this aircraft really looks stunning. They have put a lot of time and effort to make this cabin comfortable and I must say chic for a regional jet. 
and it's incredible to be amongst the first to have a feel of this aircraft with this kind of seating arrangement a piece is really pushing the boundary of business and economy class personally i'm very impressed and i guarantee you will once you step inside like I said earlier, today we will be reviewing the economy class cabin, the galley area which contains the flight attendant panel and then the drum seats. Yes, that's what we'll be reviewing today. So, welcome to the economy cabin of the E195E2 aircraft. Passengers are going to love the economic experience of this jet. We all dread the middle seats, but the cabin layout of this aircraft have taken care of that by eliminating the dreaded middle seat. 112 seats in total and looks more like a premium economy. I love the blue color leather seats and the ash color rug to complement. It is so plush and vivid. The seats have good padding and comfortable. It screams feels and smells of brand new look at the finishing the seat belt looks beautiful soft cool and classy this is the reclining function button the width of the seat is kind of thick staunch and they have given passengers on this class enough leg rooms too these are the most comfortable seats you will ever experience on a regional jet. This is a brave move from Young Line as a piece and I ask Alan why the seat options if he can get 149 in all single class configurations. We decided to choose comfort over economy. That was what we did. This is an aircraft that could take 148 passengers. Yeah. But a piece decided to make it 124 only. So whether you're flying economy on this, the economy of this aircraft is like business class of other airlines worldwide. The staggered seating is like first class of other airlines in the world. So we want to give, we are proud of this country. And you know I'm a nationalist, I'm a Nigerian nationalist. I'm proud of this country. I decided to do something different. This is the first time in the history of aviation in the world that you're having a single eye aircraft, having a, a staggered business class seat. It's not coming from me. You had that from aviation analysts in America, in, um, in, the, in Europe and others. They were talking about APIS. None, none has this kind of plane except APIS. Here is the overwing exit area with a north leg room. The tray table on this class is sizable and located at the seat back in front of you, except for the people sitting in the front row where the tray table is stored within the armrest, as you will find on many short haul first class seats. The seat back has a small horizontal mesh pocket for storage and can be found in both business and economy class cabin. There are also full power sockets available for every seat just by the side of the mesh. The green indicator light at the back of the armrest right in front of you is where they are located. Now uh, let's check out the overhead uh, locker. The overhead back storage is large and amongst the largest found on regional jets. It can actually be compared to those of a Boeing 737 or Airbus A320 and able to hold four standard 22 inch carry on bags. Happy, extremely happy, very happy. I can't wait to fly this machine, like it is sophisticated. Well, I say it's an advanced triple seven. So beautiful. <laughs> This area is a galley area and here is your master cabin control touch screen system and passenger service units. They have two of them, one in the front and another at the back. This one trips me the most. The cabin LED lights provide the most energy efficient lighting solution. Chidi Ma is the flight attendant and she's going to explain to us some of its functions. Here the light control 
it gives different lightning into the cabin whatever color you want into the cabin you can press it here so now it brings out the color rainbow the color wheel can be controlled to mimic different scenes or moods to help prevent fatigue among passengers as well as helping with changing time zones let's put it to test so chilima please can you change to blue light or green okay fine thanks as chilima is changing the colors are equally changing inside the cabin so now we have changed to blue light to green light yellow to red or whatever color you desire so beautiful wow this is really amazing i have to say it does really look beautiful the aircraft is truly stunning wow can say that again oh my god Plenty of natural light also enters the cabin during daylight hours through the extremely large windows, which are larger than most other aircrafts. There are two ample size galleys on this aircraft, one at the back and one at the forward of the aircraft. Galleys are usually fitted with anything required for flights, from ovens to refrigerators to wine chillers to beverage making equipment such as espresso machines and any other convenience that is required to keeping passengers comfortable throughout the duration of that flight. Florence is a cabin service manager for the airline and she's going to put us through the galley functions. This okay. is a, a wet galley area. Anything that has water is okay. a wet galley. This is also a water tap so they can get water to boil. This is a coffee maker. So this is like a jug. So you can even make espresso, anything, tea, brew, power, anything. So these ones are like dry lockers. Then these ones are just cabinets to put things like maybe tea, coffee milk and all that things because like things you can put in there so it's just like for tissues like yay and the rest like that mm. okay so this is called the light area everything you can see here has a panel in the fly there okay. if a crew want to use this area they will ask the captain to put on the galley power okay. so once you put on the galley power that way these lights can come on we have two ovens here in front and we have more at the back so you can see this is the control for the oven mm -hmm. it's in the off position you don't use the put in the oven. this is for low light you have to take you have to set a setting for it so either low or high okay. most time we use low because if we use high the meals can go open so this is how you open it these are the lights where they arrange the meals so this is not used for business class but the ones at the back if we have economy flights or international flight, regional flight, we offer hot meals to everyone. So okay. we use the oven. So this same oven is also at the back. So you can see it has instructions. It tells you please remove protective foil before first use. So because it's brand new, mm -hmm. so that's why you have this. And so, it's the same there. Yeah. So it's the same thing, two ovens in front. Usually they are not meant only to serve and store food and beverages. The galley area also contains flight attendants jump seats, emergency equipment storage, as well as anything else flight attendants may need during the flights. It also serves uh, like the crew hangouts when they are not busy in the cabin. So this is the jump seats, call it jump seat because it jumps when you take it out. It jumps. Yeah. <laughs> Here we have our equipment, life jacket, the fire gloves, and the rest of them. Emergency equipment only. The Embraer E195A2 is stylishly designed to satisfy all your travel dreams and in no distant time, Nigerians will experience the beauty of this jet. And by the time Nenna is ready to take to the sky, it will be deployed for both domestic and regional routes. But before that, she will first of all undergo several regulatory and compliance procedures. This is Captain Isimeme. He's already type rated for this kind of aircraft. That is trained for it and more pilots are also undergoing training for same, including engineers. This is an aircraft that speaks to the pilot and the pilot speaks to it. I'm sure Captain Isimeme that is here is already type rated. He cannot wait to be on that plane. Is the 
apart from the triple seven, that is another desire for the another, you know, allure for pilots. And the, uh, first officer uh, Callistos also is uh, interpreted in, on, on it. Already, APC is in the market trying to bring in our graduates, fresh from universities, engineering graduates, to send them out for training. This is a country of very intelligent people, and we must uh, use every opportunity we've got to stop being saying that, oh, we have potentials. Let us explore those potentials and let it become a reality. And going by the number of order the airline has placed, definitely E2 will be a key factor in the airline's growth and real profit hunter for them. Though the aircraft is called a profit hunter, the preys are not the passengers, but rather they prey on something else. This is our pride. Our pride is that we have the integrity to take this airline to the next level. We want to make this country proud. We want to be good ambassadors of Nigeria out there. This airline will soon get the permit to start flying India and China. And when that time comes, you will see what we'll do. We are going to bring down the cost of traveling for Nigerians. Because the E2 you are going to celebrate today is called Profit Hunter. It doesn't mean necessarily mean that we're going to amass all the profit in the world, but it means that it's going to cut costs. The cost of operations is very low compared to other aircraft. And that will help us to employ more people. That will help us to even cut down the cost of uh, airfares to make it possible for Nigerians to fly safely, comfortably, and happily too not grudgingly because they're paying so much. This Liontech aircraft continues AP's fleet modernization. As we are getting the brand new planes, we shall be phasing out the old Boeing. But remember, we are bringing in Boeing 737 MAX, the brand new ones. The aircraft is really a game changer, it's going to increase passenger experience. Nevertheless, AP's introduction of E195 to their fleet will make for a much more comfortable journey for passengers. Congratulations APs for bringing your second E195 home. Her arrival marks yet another company's history and I am honored to be part of this extremely very special event. What do you think about the E195 E2 cabin design? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Adachi Uchendo. Bye-bye.